this is the reason why people don't come up north for cars because uh, you, you find this. Uh. What's up, machines and machine freaks? I hope you guys are enjoying your day. Having a froggy fresh one. I'm jamming out in the Duramax. We're gonna go battery shopping. You guys saw yesterday's three machines production. The Seiko is kind of acting funny. We're gonna go buy a battery for it right now. Charge it up sometime in this 3D Machines production. Hopefully we fire up that Seika and it runs better. But we do have a lot of things on our plates, so it's gonna be a it's gonna be a busy 3D Machines production. That is for sure. Time to go battery shopping. Uh, uh. I wasn't too successful getting a battery. Jason's here now. No! This trip? Yep, we're up to the warehouse. We're working on the engine. We're taking off some components to get powder coated. We're also taking a lot of these components off so that we can paint the engine itself. Uh, this thing's an absolute mess, so we're just, I'm completely taking this off. But I was uh, faced with a strip bolt here, so now I gotta get the Dremel out and cut a flathead groove into it so I can take it off with a flathead screwdriver. Jason's just going to town. That thing's not gonna take you very long at all. <laughs> Jason and I got this engine torn down pretty good. There are a few more things we're going to take off, such as the intake manifold, the fuel injectors, the fuel rail, and eventually the valve cover, and get that all painted. Everything will either be illusion red, or illusion cherry, or gloss black. We're gonna paint the uh, engine gloss black. I wanted to go with illusion cherry, but they don't have like that kind of paint, because, because I don't wanna completely tear apart these rods and this engine can handle the turbo, so I'm not gonna deal with that right now. We also got our shop on, and I bought an engine hoist, or engine stand, engine stand? Engine stand, yeah. Oh, and it's red even, holy cats. Jason brought his mini bike in here, or his monkey bike as he calls it. What's what's the plan on that thing? Just checking it out, seeing what's going on? Probably just chop it in half and put it on the side of the road. <laughs> so I guess that's what we're doing today. We're gonna cut it and Put it by the side of the road. What I and my associates did was take the brain circuits from your dead body. We stored them in electrochemical batteries. Until we had a chance to rebuild the cities and begin our test. Bam! Engine stand is put together. Now time to tear the tranny and engine apart. <laughs> you think I believe it? A fantastic tale like that? I imagine you find it incredible. Got the engine going towards the ceiling. Now I'm just gonna. Now we just gotta rotate this engine hoist, put this sucker on there, bolt it on, and then we have a, an engine at our convenient height. We have the engine torn apart. You can see here, there's a couple components on here that have like red crayon on them. And that's just to tell our uh, sandblaster to go ahead and avoid those areas. We don't need to sandblast them because those areas are going to be replaced. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is mask a lot of this stuff off like the distributor, uh, the oil filter and other stuff like pieces of plastic and stuff. So the sandblaster doesn't completely tear everything apart. Uh, tomorrow is the day for everything to be sandblasted, uh, frame, engine, components, things like this, sway bar, rotors, um, just anything that we took off that we want, you know, looking prettier, looking less rusty and, and more awesome. We also have to tackle this. Now the, the part store or the, the store itself that sells this stuff is closed currently. So we just have to prep a lot of this stuff. I might have a little bit of the eighth inch material to, to fix these holes. And uh, I don't think I have any thin stuff for this. But basically what, we, what we're gonna tell the sandblaster to do is if he finds any rust, I want him to chase it and continue to chase it until he finds like good material that has no rust on it and that's solid enough to weld to. Also have the transmission off here with the flywheel sitting on top. 
We're also going to have to dismantle that intake because I want that intake to look very pretty, Illusion Cherry. And then I also have to take apart that uh, front differential. As you can see, I got a little mess here on the bell housing because there was a thing that kind of cracked here. So all I did was I drilled it further and then tapped it. So that thing should be as strong, if not stronger than it originally was. We, we do have a lot of work to do in the next 24 hours, but uh, we also want to go riding. So we're going to go riding. Jason's, this is his first time bringing his bike up. So we're going to go for a rip. I'll take the Bruin, I think, if I can find the key. I have had the battery charging all day. And she's green, unlike the Seika battery. We did buy a Seika battery, but we haven't put it together yet. So this thing's ready to go. I'll bring the tools to install this. I just hope, like I said, I can find the key. I about lost my ass just on the grass getting into the trail. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I'll follow you, so maybe I can get some footage. Oh, that's great. Can I show you my Band-Aid? Oh, yeah, that thing's awesome. <laughs> Where can I get one of those? Machineworks.com needs to start selling that stuff. I have some pieces over here that I cut off, and this is, uh, this is why it's cut off. He, this is the reason why people don't come up north for cars because uh, you, you find this. This is how vehicles are, uh, this is what happens. And believe it or not, Scrapyard will take that and make it into brand new metal again. I wonder how much they pay for, for uh, steel crumbles. Oh, it goes as tin. We'll send it as tin. You can see we cut a chunk out right there. Chunk out right there. We'll replace the floor first and then put our new channel along there and then I have the second one over here. This one I have to tear off tomorrow. It's nine o'clock, we're done uh, making noise. So now we're just uh, taking off stuff with our hands. Power tools are done for the night. Looks like the battery's gonna stand idle for today. This is gonna probably be a tomorrow thing, the uh, painting of the engine. Jason messed around with his monkey bike a little bit and we discovered why his chain is kind of acting screwy. So we're gonna look into this sometime in the near future, probably not tomorrow, because this, is, this isn't this is a huge deal right now. We gotta get everything sandblasted tomorrow. Sandblaster's coming at, he says nine o'clock, so we're gonna get here at eight o'clock. That's as early as we can get here because we have curfew and stuff like that. And we have to abide by some rules. We gotta move a lot of stuff and a lot of weight. This thing weighs an absolute ton. I bet you that thing weighs probably a good 800, maybe a thousand pounds. The frame weighs 300. The engine, I would say, probably weighs 200 maybe, 150. Here's one of our sandblasting piles, and then we have another one over there, and then we have just miscellaneous stuff like that axle. We have to tear that apart tomorrow too. I took the intake manifold apart too, so that thing's gonna be illusion cherry. Man, this thing's gonna be so sick. I'm super excited. I know you guys are too. I know you guys enjoyed this 3D Machines production. Stay froggy fresh. Stay super fly. Hit that like button for Jason going down on his first ride. Until next time, 3D Machines out. I have a froggy fresh night, evening, morning, whenever you're watching this. We'll see you later. Yeah.